Okay, continuing with our series of using Python in the Blender game engine, I'm using Blender 2.60, although this sh most of this should work with Blender 2.5 or 2.6, whatever. Um, first thing, as always, I'm going to get rid of this timeline because we don't need it. In this case, we're going to say text editor, new text, create text block, and we're going to call it rotate.py. I'm just going to turn on all these three of these formats formatting options here and now we're going to start writing out our code what we're going to do is we're going to rotate this object up here this cube in the pi game i'm going to say import bge blender game engine module define our main function here and then i'm going to set our controller equal to bge.logic.get current controller and then we're going to set our owner equal to our controller dot owner and uh, although this is the second tutorial in this series and I already explained this in the first series I'll explain what all that means in just a moment I'm going to say uh, owner dot apply capital R and remember it is case sensitive rotation and here we're going to say 0 comma 0 comma dot 1 and uh, so what we're doing here oh, and then after that we have to we've created our main function let's run our main function we've got our blender game engine module in and we got our main function we're creating an object based on our blender game engine module that we imported it's logic and that means the logic editor. So let's let's quickly open up the logic editor here. I'm going to split this screen here. I'm going to change this window to a logic editor. We still have our cube selected here. I'm going to say this is our sensor and I'm going to say always in this case. And just like in the last one, we're going to turn on this uh, pulse mode true value so that it continuously runs this script so it doesn't just rotate 0.1 degrees and stops 0.1 blender units actually I think is more accurate and we're going to say Python and choose our Python rotation code and connect it here so it's saying look at the logic editor look at its controller this is the controller here in our logic editor then find its owner that's our object so once again, we can link multiple objects to this script, and it knows how to apply this rotation to each of them individually. Then we're going to take that owner, that object, in this case our cube, and apply the rotation of X, Y, and Z. Z is up and down, so basically this will make it spin in a um, clockwise, I believe, uh, since we're doing a positive number here. Uh, let's just run it and see counterclockwise. Well, depending on if you're looking at it from the top or bottom, I guess. So it's spinning on the z-axis. Imagine a line shooting through it up and down. That's the z-axis, and it's spinning on that. We can also change these other numbers, the x, y, and z. We can change the y to a point one as well. So now it's rotating on an angle like so. Um, and once again, just like before, uh, we can up this number, so let's say 0.5. So each frame is going to ro rotate 0.5 a half a unit, uh, a blender unit. That's pretty fast. <laughs> um, I think you can even go slower. So let's say we want to say 0 0.01 instead of 0.1. Should be able to do that. There we go. We got a lot slower of a rotation. And you know, I don't know how many positions after the decimal you can go. Let's do one more. It's turning really slow now. And of course you can go faster by making the number bigger. Now let's say that we wanted to rotate the other way. So we have it rotating counterclockwise, if you're looking at it from the top. And we want to rotate it clockwise. Think, and I haven't tried this yet, if I just put a negative number there, yep, it rotates the other way. So, that's it. Very simple. Once again, you can add other objects, like uh, add an icosphere like we did in the first tutorial. And I can add an always 
Python script and connect these two and enable the pulse mode and press P and they both rotate at the same speed. Now editing the scripts number adjusts the speed for both of them but once again I can adjust the frequency which is the number of frames that that this object runs. So if I wanted to slow down the sphere here, I can turn up its frequency to one or two, and I can say P, and you can see it's definitely a jerkier movement, but it seems to be rotating slower. It's rotating the same number of units each time it rotates, but it's running the script uh, like a third of the time. So instead of every frame, it's every second or third frame. We can go even slower. So. Hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to save this script. I'm going to upload it. There should be a link in the description to the post on this video where you can find um, this file, the, the, the code, the blend file. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. Also, check out filmsbychris.com forward slash Amazon. Help support this site. Buying stuff through Amazon, but through our link so that... Uh, and get some commission. Doesn't cost you anything extra, but helps support the site. So check out that stuff on Amazon, and I hope that you have a great day. Where is it? Where is that product I'm looking for? I bet if I go to filmsbychris.com forward slash Amazon, I can help, I can find it and help support a site I like, filmsbychris.com. I'm going to check that out right now. Yeah.